the sea, a vast endless blue, stretching far beyond what we can see. It's incredibly beautiful, with waves that sparkle under the sunlight, gently touching the shore. The sea feels peaceful, like a place where you can lose track of time and just breathe in the calm. It's in moments like these that the sea feels like a friend, welcoming and serene, offering a place to think, dream and just be. But the sea has another side. There are times when it stirs into a wild energy, when the waves grow tall and crash against the boat with a roar. The wind picks up and the once gentle sea becomes something powerful and untamed. It's a reminder that the sea, as beautiful as it is, is also fierce, with a strength that can be controlled or predicted. Lately we've had a hard time feeling the same excitement about boat life. The sense of freedom and adventure we used to love feels a bit out of reach and it's been tough to enjoy things the way we used to. That's why we have decided to throw all our plans overboard. In the past weeks we've been slowly traveling along Spain's beautiful coast, going wherever the wind took us. We started to enjoy sailing again. We swam a lot, had barbecues, watched sunsets and explored towns and cities. When you travel by boat, plans often change. It's not really about where you're going, but about the journey itself. The wind and waves guide you, taking you to places you didn't expect. You learn to go with the flow, enjoying each day as it comes. The best part of boat travel is the freedom to let things happen and find joy in the unexpected. It's all about enjoying the ride, not just reaching the destination. It took us two years to realize this. Changing plans can sometimes feel like you failed, at least that's how my mind works. It's easy to think that if things don't go the way you want it, you did something wrong. But life is full of surprises and being able to adapt isn't a failure, it's a strength. Flexibility helps us find new paths and opportunities we might not have seen before. In the end, changing plans often leads to better things. What feels like a setback could actually be leading you to something even better. So no, we aren't going to cross the ocean this year. Instead we are staying in the Mediterranean to just enjoy ourselves. This decision feels so right. Do we know where we'll be in three months? Not really. We have an idea but no concrete plan and that's okay. If you are wondering why and when this feeling changed, we don't know exactly. We left Greece in April and faced many tough days with the weather, lots of wind and waves. We had planned to reach Cape Verde by the end of the year with a detour to the Gambia. This plan left us feeling rushed and overwhelmed. It just didn't feel right anymore. As I said, if you don't enjoy what you're doing, something is wrong. So we listened to our hearts and decided to do what feels right for us now. In the meantime, I'm embracing my creative side. I have designed a book specifically made for sailors. It's for personal reflections, a creative space to inspire you and to keep track with everything related to boat life, whether it's finances, maintenance, whatever. I've also found joy in writing blogs and I'm working on improving my videography and photography skills. Lately, I've been feeling incredibly inspired. This inspiration is turning into something tangible and meaningful and I can't wait to see where it takes me next. So, if you made it this far in this video, thank you for following our journey. Your support and encouragement mean the world to us. It's your presence that keeps us motivated and inspired to share our experiences and creative ventures. Stay tuned for more updates and we are excited to have you with us as we continue to explore and create.